Okay, so let's start by going to our favorite browser and we'll just type in visual code download. Okay, so we go over here, code.visual, choose whichever one, in this case it's Windows. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's open up our downloads. Let's run the executable. User install is not meant to be run as administrator. If you'd like to run, that's fine. I think it's just because I'm on a VM and I'm an admin on the machine. Uh, it's prompting that. So you can pick whatever works for you. In this case, I'm just going to choose the default. One thing you want to make sure to have is add the path. I mean, you could do it yourself manually later, but you know, why not just have it do it as part of the install process? Okay, let's finish. So now we have visual code installed. Great. Okay, so now that we have Visual Studio, uh, Visual Code installed, uh, we want to navigate over to extensions and the purpose of this video series. There's a few extensions that we want to install. First is uh, ARM Templates or Azure Resource Manager. Let me just expand this over here. Azure Resource Manager Tools or ARM Tools. That's one thing we want to install. The other is the PowerShell extension. Um, in this case, I installed both the regular PowerShell as well as PowerShell Preview, pretty much anything from Microsoft. And if you need to check whether or not you have your uh, extensions installed, you can go, oops, sorry. Oh, we already know PowerShell is installed because the window popped up over here. But you can go over here and you can see which ones are installed. Uh, there's another extension that you're going to want to install, which is Azure CLI tools. You could alternatively just go to your, your browser and just install, install Azure CLI directly on your uh, machine itself. So there's one more thing I would suggest to install, even if we're not going to use it for this video, um, we may use it for future videos, which is uh, you want to install the module AZ. You do that just by clicking install module AZ or typing rather. Just in case PowerShell doesn't install properly on uh, extension or you chose the wrong version or, or whatever reason, um, you can just actually just download PowerShell 7.x over here just by going straight to um, the browser and just typing like this, right? And it should just take you straight to a place where you can download it. They give you a couple of download options and that should be fine. So before we begin, you want to make sure that you have at least these five extensions running or, or rather four you probably don't need a partial preview and that should be enough to get started in terms of visual code and its extensions so as a quick reminder uh, you may need to restart your computer after the installation of visual code as well as some of the extensions um, so that's what I did over here and in case you're brand new to visual code you should see a terminal window here, new terminal. You can click on that. In this case, I already had a terminal window open, so it's trying to restore those sessions. So real quick, one of the reasons why I recommend you use PowerShell 7.x is that for one, um, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure the AZ module works best for 7.0 or 7.x. Uh, it may even have some issues when you're trying to use it 5.1, but don't quote me on that one. 
uh, but definitely uh, the full range of module used for AZ module as well as some other modules will be more available to 7.x rather than 5.1 so for that reason alone it's definitely worth using 7.x so a brief overview of what infrastructure as code or IAC is is pretty much it's having uh, reusable templates that you use to deploy resources in cloud whether it's Azure AWS or whatever right so um, arm templates is just one of the IAC methods that you can use in tandem with Azure. If you are interested in doing further reading to further understand in more detail what IAC is, you know, there's this link for Microsoft that will be in the video uh, description. But, you know, there are plenty of other videos on both YouTube, Pluralsight, or whatever, what have you, as well as other links that will explain in more detail how IAC works, as well as some other platforms, such as Terraform, that you can use. So one thing I wanted to give a quick heads up for is that, yeah, I am using the default um, documentation from Microsoft on how to start with ARM templates. I do that just so that if I were to make the follow-up videos, that there's a baseline video that I can point to. But honestly, you can just go through the documentation yourself and follow the instructions. It's actually very well documented, so it might be uh, a preferable choice. And those links are also going to be in the video description. Um, other than that, uh, another thing that happened recently is I, I just got a, a dog and uh, I think my dog is very adorable. So I'm going to be splicing in video clips of my dog Boba inside some of the videos um, from now on. Just probably as a picture in picture PIP um, just to kind of smooth over some of the dry content every now and then.